Hi, I'm Zin, and today video I want to show you how you can make the live chat like the name hero. So when you click the live chat, the pop-up chat will be showing, so you can chat with the support. And when you don't need to chat, click close, it will disappear. I think that is really cool feature, and it can app everywhere. Uh, I noticed because in the bottom I see the same thing. In the chat box here, uh, when the client want to chat with uh, name hero, they just click chat with the button, and it pop up the same thing. And when they don't need, just click close, and it disappear. So I try to do the same thing like the name hero. Here is on the DV example. So when I scrolling down, I put the chat now button here. So if the client want to chat with me, they can click chat now, and then they so the they can see the chat pop up here. They can chat with me. Uh, just for example, uh, and this is on the DV team, and this is on the Elementor team. I do the same thing. And when people want to chat, they just click chat online now, and the pop up will be showing. So here is the some of the test I did on the. Uh, elementor and when they don't need just close and it disappear uh, it's not only for the DV and elementor builder you can follow the video and you can add it for any uh, builder WordPress so let's do it together Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it one As you can see right now I am in the TDO Chess plugin uh, So if you don't know about the TDO Chess Let me introduce a little bit about it for you uh, TDO Chess is the online chat plugin That can help your client chat with you through the website So if you install the TDO Chess on your website it will show the pop-up video chat like this and when the client click to the chat box that will pop up and chat with you through the website um, uh, this video chat can interact with so many platforms uh, it can interact with WordPress, Wix, Shopify, uh, MailChimp and so on uh, so if you don't have the account on the TDO chat, you can click star here and create the account. Uh, it's a free account, so I believe you can create the account only for 2 or 3 minutes. And when you come back to the TDO chat, you can maybe try go to the price and check some function here so if it works for your client. So many my clients like to use the TDO chat because like on the TDO chat they had the app on the phone like you can download the app on um, Apple Store on Android um, Android phone and chat with your client on the phone. It's, it's really convenient uh, for the WordPress. You can see. Uh, in the back end of the WordPress, you can go to the plugin, add new. You can search for the TDO chat. And the TDO chat plugin will be pop up in the first one here. You can install and activate. But in this tutorial, I will not use the plugin. Uh, as you can see in the front end here, let me show you. In the front end, I don't have any icon of the TDO chat. Uh, to do the tutorial, you need to create the account in the TDO chat. Again, if you don't have the account, click Get Start and create your account. Uh, I already have one, so I just need to log in to your sorry to my account. So let me log in first. So after log into the TDO chat, you will see the banner like me. Uh, the one thing you need to care is this section, uh, the visitor on the on your side, and it will show all the client who want to chat with you. And if you want to chat 
or reply to them just start chat and can reply them here I did some chat of the website before the tutorial and it worked really good and I'm not going everywhere to show you all the function of the video chat you can play around with that on your account uh, so today just focus about how to show you the trigger to make the video chat pop up when linked to the link uh, so first you need to go to the setting go to installation here open the code section and go to the wordpress because we're working on the wordpress uh, so here is the basic setup when you want to connect the wordpress with the video chat panel uh, so copy the code here and follow the instruction here so for the for the tutorial here you have to go to appearance team file editor and looking for the team footer here and after that you need to paste your TDO code before the slash body so before the slash body here and click update file so after you add the script code here you can go to the front end and see the pop-up will be shown here when you click it show the pop-up chat so this is some test I did before uh, just close for now go back to the back end I show you one more thing because you use the elementor so you don't need to use and follow them like this uh, let me show you let me go to the team footer first and remove the code I just add right here I just remove the code right here and update the file again uh, for example like you use the elementor so the elementor they had the option it's really cool it's custom code here and you can add the new code paste the code right here and select body star not body end because in the tutorial they say you need to boot you need to boot the code before the slot body so that means it's inside the body here and you can name this one is code for video and public and it's apply for entire side save and close so after it's public you can see go to the front end it's it show the same thing it show the pop up video chat and right now we had a pop up so we need we need to add the trigger to the website to do that we need to go to the edit with elementor here uh, i will scrolling down to the section i want to add the button uh, for this one i will add the button it's right here i will name it is just online now uh, I don't want to put the hashtag here we keep this link is blank because if you put the hashtag when you click to the button it will zoom back to the top so we don't put anything right here and after that we need one more thing is HTML and put it under the button here uh, for the code I create the code here you can copy the code from the link in the description below and copy the code here to put it in the HTML code here um, so I let me show you one more thing is because the code here is work with the class chat button so you can copy the chat button right here copy 
and then go to the button right here we need to add the class to the button go to advanced CSS class and base right here so I need to style the, the button a little bit so for the color I want it to be the text will be white and the color here I want it matching with the contact text here uh, for the horror let's do with with the um, uh, black color so when it's hover it will be black and update so after update you can view base so right now you can see like the pop up video chat is gone and you can click chat online now and show the uh, the pop up right now and you can chat with the client i uh, sorry you can chat the client can chat with you on the uh, tdo chat chat now let's write something and you can see like this one is showing on right here you can hear the chat now and you can chat back with your customer uh, one thing I noted is when you hover here so when you hover here you can see like you don't see the the person boy so we need to add one more code here click edit with Elementor So as you can see like when we hover to the to the button it will not show the the cursor because like you don't have any link here so that need to add another small code here so we go to the custom we go to the uh, button advanced and custom CSS and uh, typing select and we will add cursor pointer right here update and view base so right now you can see when we hover to the button it will see the pointer right here and click chat online now and the pop up will be showing so close the pop up and do again it's showing that's right and uh, it's not only you can use for the elementor uh, it can work with all the wordpress platform just follow all the steps uh, for example like in the DB team I create the one like on the DB team here so click chat now and it show the, the button right here uh, exactly the same uh, but some of the option it changed is when you go to the DV you go to the team option here uh, and you go to the interaction right here and you can see like I copy the code from TDO chat let me show you in the TDO chat again go to setting installation open code set open code section wordpress so you copy the same code here and go to the DB team interaction and put the code is right here uh, another one like the code I gave you from uh, Elementor you can copy and paste it in the same place in the same like in the body here um, and it work well on the DV I don't know why when I do that the same thing on the Elementor I put the same one on the um, Elementor custom code here I put the same one here I put the same one as like the DV you can see but it doesn't work it's just only work when you put under the button It's only work when you put the HTML under button uh, the Elementor. So that is different between DV team and Elementor team. The custom code on DV team working really well. 
and you can put the same code I get you uh, in the description below to the same one in on the DV and it's working well on the bay so uh, let me show you what the plugin doing here uh, so on the DV team uh, on the DV team here so I custom this one in the text setting you can put this on the um, uh, the button but in the button in the DV it doesn't work well so I put it on the uh, the chat box uh, sorry on the text box and you can go to the advanced custom set at here you can see I have to add the cursor pointer here and the set at flat I put it the chat button so that means like the whole button I make here is a chat button so that is the trigger for the DV website uh, after finish everything I click save and is it visual builder and after that you can click and show the pop-up video chat here for the elementor you can see the same when you click it show the pop-up here so that's it for the tutorial and I'll see you in my next video thank you